Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a polynomial inequality right here, and we need to express the solution set in interval notation. So the first thing you want to do is to set up this polynomial equals to zero to find out the moment where this polynomial is equal to zero. And that will be at x equals one because x minus 1 equals 0 means x equals 1, x equals 6, and x equals 7. These are the three moments where the polynomial is equal to 0, which I'm going to put them on the table. The first one is going to be 1, 6, the second one, and 7, the third one. And like I said, in these moments, the polynomial is equal to 0. And the first number I'm going to use for uh, finding the sine of f of x will be 0. And if you plug 0 in this factor form, you're going to end up with a negative 1 times a negative 6 times a negative 7. A, a product of three negative numbers, that, that means this guy will be negative, right? Then if, I, if we move from uh, between 1 and 6, and I'm going to pick 2, uh, the first... The first term, the x minus 1, that, that would be a positive number. Uh, then 2 minus 6, that will be a negative number. And 2 minus 7, another negative number. We have a positive times a negative times a negative. That will be a positive number. So in this table, I'm going to put pluses. Now let's, let's use the same technique for a number between... Uh, 6 and 7, and uh, let's say you get 6.5, that will be a positive here, right? 6.5 6 minus 1 is a positive number. 6.5 minus 6, another positive number. The only one that is going to be negative is going to be this one. But a positive times a positive times a negative, that will be a negative number. So that's the reason I'm going to put here negative. And I have to do one more time. I have to pick a number greater than 7. So let's see what's happened if we pick like uh, 8. If we pick 8, this is going to be positive. 8 minus 1 is a positive number. 8 minus 6, another positive number. 8 minus 7, another positive number. We multiply three positive numbers. The outcome will be a positive number. So now we have the sign table for this polynomial inequality. And we can look back and see now when this is less or equal to 0 between negative infinity and 1. Be sure you put bracket at 1 because you have the equal and parentheses as a negative infinity. And between 6 and 7. And eventually you may want to use the union sign if that is asked. So that, those are the moments where this polynomial inequality is less or equal to zero. You can see the same thing in a graphical approach. Yes, the graph is under the x-axis here until you reach the uh, x equals 1. And then is in this interval right here between 6 and 7. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button. And come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.